Howdy out there to the entire Go Figure News family. I am TJ. I will be your host. We will be doing another review of a brand new figure that just landed on our office doorstep. This is Tiny Ghost by Reese O'Brien. Now, one thing that you should know is, if you didn't already, this figure came out in three colorways simultaneously gold in 75 pieces silver in 125 pieces and this here which is the original o edition or the OG so gold and silver have already sold out they are gone kaput nada no more I have just taken a slight peek, so I haven't completely looked this over, because I like to keep it fresh for you guys. This is only 20 bucks, which is completely obnoxiously reasonable for a super cool, simple figure in a five inch vinyl. Reese O'Brien, if you are unaware, is the designer behind BIM Toy. Now, he is also the head designer at Funko. So if you are aware of the entire line, mostly of uh, Pops, hailing from Washington State, this is the latest. Now, one thing I did want to point out, however, if you visited, you, if you started Googling and you went to Bim Toy at their store Envy site, which is here, you will notice that there are several figures that are already sold out. Now those are resin figures as opposed to the three vinyl figures that came out on the primary site. Know that this is still available and though small in stature, it is big on scares. And that's kind of their tagline here. So I'm excited first of all, let's take a look at the box. Now the box is a simple black and white. The white portion is done with sort of a, a slightly shinier aqueous coating and you've got the black matte box. And as you turn it, you see the ghost appearing black on black. And I think it's nicely done, very simple, right to the point. And that's pretty much the design of the box at the top. It just has the logo for Tiny Ghost. It's dated 2016, though these weren't released until this year. So, I'm popping this out of the box. It's in a typical plastic inner, protecting it while shipping. Voila. Here he is. This is Tiny Ghost. So, <laughs> I am getting a kick out of this. I have no idea what it is that floats my boat here so much. But I would say it's likely sort of the anonymity here. It plays on that sort of lore of Halloween's past, of the, the time when, you know, you forgot to come up with a Halloween costume and you threw a sheet with two holes cut out over your head. And it also looks like a candy gumdrop, for instance. Uh, it's just pure white goodness. Minimal in terms of design. Now, mind you, know that I really appreciate an incredible sculpt with umpteen details. This is the complete polar opposite, which also floats in this field of simplicity and, you know, sort of immediacy. And I really like that about certain toys. So what can I say about this figure? Well, it is a simple shape, obviously no articulation, obviously no details except for the black dots for eyes, which are pretty much voids, solid voids, and then these little curvatures for arms. So I'm gonna give you a 360, but I honestly wanna tell you that uh, you're not gonna see much. Bim Toy was so kind to me because the original figure that they sent uh, somehow got lost. It was marked as delivered. I called my post office. They said that they delivered it 
and uh, I know for a fact that it was not delivered. They sent me a second, and it took one additional week to get here, so um, I excuse my uh, mail carrier for the delay in bringing this little guy to you. So if I did bring it to you last week, possibly one of the other of the three colorways might have still been available, but I'm hoping that you keep aware on our social media because we often will post things like this as a preview before we actually do a review. This is just absolutely, it's just like a punctuation. It's just so right. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's it's like me, it's bald, you know? It's It's just got this dome quality. Now, one other thing I will say is, this would make an incredible, though I don't think the intent is there, <laughs> DIY figure for other artists out there to pick this up and turn it into something crazy and wild. I can see this being cut open and remolded and resculpted and turned into wild colors and all sorts of incredible things. That's a challenge to any artist out there that might be watching this that, you know, I think that this is a really, really, really nice shape to play on. I can see all sorts of calligraphic sort of uh, figuration done here. You know, I can see this done in all sorts of various metallic sprays. And of course, it was already prompted with the gold and silver editions. What I do is I recommend taking a closer look at Tiny Ghost because this guy is just adorable. I want to show you the bottom. Basically, it's flat. Um, it's just a, a simple circle, and then here it just has the copyright, and that's pretty much it. So, ladies and gentlemen, Bubba's and Bubettes, let me definitely tell you that this is going to be worth every penny. 20 bucks, you cannot go wrong. Five inch vinyl, really, really nice, simplistic design. This figure is gonna look awesome on your collector's shelf. The designer is Reese O'Brien. The maker is Bim Toy out of Washington State, the Pacific Northwest. I salute thee. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel because we're gonna have a lot more coming your way. And the other thing I wanna mention is watch our website at gofigurenews.com because we have six new contributors and they are going to be bringing you all sorts of varied stories, reviews, and interviews and I couldn't be more thrilled to be expanding on our community and our team. Thank you for watching. This has been TJ for Go Figure News over and out.